So in this video, I'm going to cover something very basic, but very useful at the same time. And that will be how we can use app scripts uh, to programmatically apply a formula and copy it down. Basically, I'm going to try to do something very basic here, uh, but I will do it programmatically. So to describe what I'm going to try to do, I will go ahead and try to put an equal sign that will just create some sort of formula. Maybe we'll add this number plus this, right? And maybe we'll have that in parentheses and then we'll multiply that by this number. So it doesn't really matter what the formula is going to be, but that's an example formula. We add these two numbers together. We multiply by the third number. We get our new number. Now I hit enter, I get the results. And then we usually go here and copy it down so we can get those results for every single row. Now what we're going to do is do the same thing programmatically using app scripts. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. So let's just remember our formula, A1 plus B1 multiplied by C1. Actually, I'll just go ahead and copy that formula just like that and delete it. So now we'll have to do this programmatically. So in order for us to do it, I'll go under tools, script editor, and we'll start with our app scripts. So I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit here. So the first things uh, is just getting access to our app scripts app, right? So uh, I'll go to my spreadsheet app, which will give us access to our spreadsheet application. And then uh, I'll go ahead and get the active spreadsheet. And then inside of that active spreadsheet, I'll go ahead and get uh, my active sheet and that will get me my active sheet. That should be enough. I'll assign this to a variable. I'll call var ss for my spreadsheet uh, is, is this. So that should get us uh, the application, then the active spreadsheet, then the active sheet in our application, which essentially is going to be this. So at this point, what I want to do, uh, I will want to, first of all, uh, start by setting this cell to that formula. So that first step that I did, I entered the formula here in this D1 cell, right? So in order for me to do that, I'll go ahead and start with my current active sheet variable SS and I'm going to get get range. So and I'm not going to use this. I'll just use my regular notation and the the cell was D1. So I'll go ahead and type D1. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my set formula method to do this. And the formula has to be a string. So that's going to be that formula that I had. I'm simply going to just copy, uh, basically paste the formula that I had copied before. So that's the formula. I want to programmatically set the formula to this formula. So first of all, let's just run this, make sure this works. I'll go ahead and save this, go on to run, run this function. And if we go back to our app, you should see that we were able to programmatically put that formula right here. So I'll go ahead and delete this, but we can see that so far what we've been doing, it works. So we're able to basically programmatically put this here. Now the next step, what we'll have to do is copy this formula down to all of the cells below, right? And we want something that will work for any uh, size of data. So if we had more rows, we wanted to figure out how many rows it is and copy it down that far down, right? So to do that, I'm going to go back here. So the way I'm going to do this, uh, and this is what we call fill down in Excel, uh, or some people call it copy down, copy formula, whatever. Uh, we'll basically just sort of copy paste. That's what we're going to do. So the first thing we'll have to figure out is where exactly are we going to paste it? So uh, we'll have to get this range that gets from here, which is our D1, 
all the way through the seven, right? But we need to get it uh, dynamically, so we have to figure out how many rows we actually had to do this. So the first thing we're going to do is just get how many rows we have in our data. And we're going to do that by, uh, well, let's just do a variable and call it LR for last row. And we'll go ahead and access our spreadsheet that we have, right? That's our spreadsheet. And I'm going to get my get, and there is a method called get last row. And that should get us the number of our last row. And we we'll sh should be able to store it in this LR variable. So that should figure out that the last row is number seven. Great. Now the next thing we'll have to do, we'll have to figure out, uh, basically set the range we need, right? So I'm going to just create another variable. I'll call it paste range. How about that? Or how about field down range? Let's call it that. Uh, we'll say that equals to, that's going to be in this current spreadsheet. And we're going to get range. And we're going to use this full method. So we're going to start with our start row. So the start row, what we're going to start, we're going to start here in D1 cell, right? The row is one and the column is one, two, three, four. So row one and column, oh, one and column one, two, three, four. If you're not sure what I'm doing here, by the way, go watch earlier videos. I have a lot of detail explanation about a lot of this stuff, like get range method and how we get this app and active sheet and all of that stuff. Now, the next thing we want to do, we said we're going to start from the first one through the first fourth one, right? And then the final thing is the number of rows we want to go down from there. So the number of rows I want to go down is going to be basically seven in this case, because I want it all the way down to seven. So that seven is going to be this, which is LR. Now keep in mind that uh, the reason that I can't just say last row is because uh, I don't have any labels, for example, on top. Ha have I had some labels on top? Then I uh, my last row. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's say this is num one, num two. Actually, let's do it this way. It will be better. Num three, and this is our formula column. So at this point, we're gonna start with this one, which is our D two cell. So here we're gonna change this to D two, and we're gonna start from the second row and the fourth column again. So we're going to start from the second row and fourth column. But now, how many rows we want going down? We want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We want seven rows. But when we get the last row, it's going to get us this. So it's going to be eight. So in this case, if it's just eight, we have to make sure we deduct whatever we have on top. So I have an extra row on top. So therefore I would do last row minus one to make sure I take care of that. Now for columns, there was a fourth one. I don't want to go any columns to the right. I can just ignore that. So that's going to be the range that I want set. Perfect. So the final step for us is to actually go ahead and fill our formula down. So this, uh, at this point, we're going to go here and set the formula here in our D2 cell, right? Then we'll figure out this is going to be the range we want to copy down. And finally, we need to copy that down. So uh, the first thing is, where is our existing formula? So at this point, our formula is going to already be in this D2 cell because we'll have it set at that point. So that's going to be our D2 cell. So what I want to do from that cell, I want to copy two. So I'm going to use copy two method, which will copy the cell down, which will essentially get the fill down effect. And copy two, you have to provide the destination where we're going to copy this to. And we're going to copy this to this range. 
that we have. So I'm going to do semicolon to end the line and that will copy the D2 formula down to this range that we have. So let's go ahead and save this. I'm going to go ahead and you can see there's nothing in here. So I'll go ahead and run this. And now let's go back and see what happened. So something went wrong here. So we're going to have to see what went wrong. But this, oh, so uh, apparently we, we copied it, but we copied something inaccurate here. Oh, <laughs> see, our formula, we moved to the next cell down, so I moved all those rows down, but I forgot that the formula should have been different now. So let's go ahead and clear this out, go back and correct our mistake. Well, well, my mistake, not ours, but there it is. The formula essentially, in the beginning, in these two cells should be A2 plus B2 multiplied by C2 now, right? There it is. I'm gonna save this, go on to run, run the function. Now let's go back, and there it is. That's our formula here. Now if you go back here, you'll see that it actually works. Now, since we're on this, we should also test that this works for any number of rows. So if we go ahead and add more rows here, that should work exactly the same way. So I'll go ahead and run this function. And if I go back, you'll see that it figured it out and we copy it down. So that's how you can actually set a formula and copy it down when you need to do this. All right, so that's it for this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.